All right, tell us about the Science to Go bus that's right behind us here. So the Science to Go bus is a, um, a field trip brought to the school. And so we bring technology, we bring hands-on science activities. Uh, teachers throughout Elkhart County are able to request the bus. I have grade levels all the way from preschool all the way up through high school that I deal with. So bring a wide variety of hands-on um, science activities for the students. And can you explain more of the activities that you guys provide? I as mean, far as... Uh, well, like, for instance, what are the kids working on today? So today the topic is density. So they're doing some hands-on uh, manipulations as well as some computer simulations dealing with mass and volume. And then we'll deal with the density as the com combination of those two, the mass divided by the volume. Let's talk about uh, this doesn't come for any cost for school. So how no, is this so funded? It's a great benefit. Um, I'm an employee of Elkhart Community Schools assigned to the Ethos Science Center. And so um, the bus is owned by Elkhart Community Schools. <clears throat> was a yellow school bus um, through the, the Ethos Science Center and many of the RV industries in the area. They created this masterpiece of the Science to Go bus. Um, so it's a uh, classroom on wheels. And it, was it to replace, or you know, field trips are not in schools anymore. So was it to really? Uh, my understanding the evolution of it was there were some teachers before me assigned to Ethos and they would go to the schools carrying in equipment and instead of lugging it in a car and stuff, they said, wouldn't it be great to be able to have the kids come out to the vehicle and it, it all be there. Wow. And what has been the overall feedback from the students? Oh, kids love it. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, I've yet to meet anybody who doesn't. Yeah. What else should we add? And what else would you like to add for viewers to know? Um, at, at Ethos Science Center, there's also some uh, museums. They do with some um, classes there, field trips. There's um, a wide variety of activities that happen at the Ethos Science Center as well. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Anything else? So, my understanding is this is kind of like a museum on wheels, isn't it? It's more of a classroom on wheels. Uh -huh. Excuse, okay. back a little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they still talk to her. Okay, I didn't know it still arrived. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's a classroom on wheels. And so, um, you know, we bring the students out. They're on the bus for about an hour. And then they'll go in and the next group will come out. How often do you guys visit a school? Is it uh, most of the time, it's four out of the five days. Um, there are some weeks where I'm out five out of five days. Wow. And so, yeah, it's, it's popular. Um, as we get into the spring, it's uh, booked. So there's very few openings left for this year. So you're just in the Elkhart schools, is that correct? Uh, Elkhart County. Elkhart County. So about half my time in Elkhart Community Schools, and the other half through Goshen and Bago and, and um, Goshen and the other communities. Nice. Fairfield, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did you do some other events? Uh, do some community events as well. So there are some um, weekend and evening events. Um, and uh, coming to mind in, in April, there's an Arbor Day event in Goshen. So we've been part of that for every, every year. We do venture outside of Elkhart County. Uh, the South Bend Library has a Science Alive coming up in February, and we'll be part of that. And that's been going on for 25 years. So uh, it's a, a great science, hands-on activities as well, or there as well. Why do you think it's important, though, to bring this experience to students? So sometimes the teacher may not have the knowledge, or they may not have the supplies, or they may not have that technology component. And so sometimes it's just a matter of not having that due to budget issues. Sure. So we're able to help fill in that uh, need. And this approach is really STEM focused. Is that is definitely that STEM focused? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, hands-on integrating science with the math and technology and, and the engineering as well. Thank you. Oh, more. So uh, just talk a little bit what's actually inside the bus because I saw like you know the students had like some screens and stuff. Yeah like so inside there. the bus there are six stations and so there's uh, six computers and we have a wide variety of uh, different equipment we can use and so today they're doing uh, uh, the University of Colorado the FET uh, program and so that's a, a great hands-on simulation. Do you think hands-on learning is more effective than just traditional, your traditional model? Definitely. You know, for them to experience it, it definitely takes it at a different level of understanding, and it's definitely a memory. You know, they, they have that memory that lasts them for a long time. And they're obviously graded with these on these assignments, correct? Or is it more just for... That's up to the teacher. A lot of teachers do collect them just to hold the kids accountable that they did finish the task. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for investing in kids. Oh, it's great. And thanks to Elkhart Schools and for Ethos Science Center as well. Good. Sure. I'm just curious because I had heard from our producer that you, all, you guys have like some experiments that you do. Depending uh, on the, the topic, you know, so sometimes they are experiments, sometimes they're hands-on in a different way. So today, like, they're measuring out, like... 
Um, they, they observe three different items, and um, so they physically manipulate them, but then on the computer, they actually can change the mass and volume just by sliding a, a tab on the screen. And they can change the item, so it becomes a brick instead of a piece of wood. So obviously technology is the way forward for many of these students, and so we saw in there that yeah. they were using computers and... Yeah, it could definitely help fill in that um, experience without necessarily having to have the cost of having the actual items. Yeah. Great. And did you say how this was funded? And so, as far as, um, I'm an employee of Elkhart Community Schools, and so they're, they're covering my wages. Uh, the bus is provided free, so there's no cost to the schools to come visit. And so it's, um, I guess the majority of it would be funded through Elkhart Schools, and then the other parts would be picked up by the Ethos Science Center.